Hello everyone, welcome to Creality CR10 assembly video. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to assemble Creality CR10 and start 3D printing our very first objects. Let's get to know our parts. We have our base plate, we have our vertical plate, which we are going to put vertically to do our base plate, and we have a controller unit right over there. First, what we are going to do is to attach vertical plate with our base plate. Get your tool bag and take out the plier. Cut these zip ties right over here. Next, get your parts for the required assembly. This is the bag that you need to get. From inside this bag, get your four metric by 25 millimeter long screws. After you find your screws, insert the washers to them that comes within the same bag and we will install these. Get your metric 5 allen wrench and make sure that it fits and we are going to use it to connect base plate with the vertical plate. This part is a little bit tricky if you are alone because it's going to require you to hold the printer correctly. Bring the vertical plate and put it on top of the screw holes. As you can see, there are two holes in here and hold your printer like this, but do not lay it over because it will hit. So hold it while you are holding it. Get your screw metric five and put it from the bottom and try to screw it and i made it and get your allen wrench and fasten it but do not fully fasten it yet and after you secure the connection start installing the other screws after we secure four screws we will fasten them fully and let's put the other screws too since we installed the screw number four we can start fastening all the screws fully okay our step for connecting the vertical plate with the base plate is done as the next step we are going to install these fixed blocks t-shaped ones the one with the limit switch is going to assemble into the left hand side and this one is going to go to the right hand side by saying left hand side i mean the one that has the motor attached okay to install our first t-shaped block we are going to get our smaller l range and little bit loosen these so that they will go into the, this opening gap right here align this t nut with the aluminum profile right here and here so that we can attach it properly after we align them they snap very easily and what we are going to do is to fasten them let's move on to the left hand side with the limit switch okay guys again the same scenario we are going to do the exactly the same steps okay right now the t-shaped fixed block connection for the left hand side is done and let's move on to the next step okay guys at this point what we are going to do is to connect the cables that are coming from our control unit and all the cables are marked with these plastic labels so smaller socket that is labeled with x is x limit switch and the big socket that is labeled with x is x motor same thing so this is z motor and this is z limit switch and y motor and y limit switch this is the motor for the extruder so let's start connecting them and there's this z axis socket right over here and get the z axis connection inserted and this is done right now we are going to connect the z axis limit switch for that you need to see this z axis limit switch connection right over here okay z axis limit switch is connected for the x axis we have a motor connection the white one so x axis motor is connected x axis limit switch located down here and get your x axis limit switch connector and connect it right here and we have connected our x axis limit switch too and while we are here we are going to connect our extruder motor too which is marked as e and our extruder motor is located right here and it is connected very simple what we are going to do is to connect the last limit switch and the last motor which are the y axis limit switch and y axis motor connection so let's connect our motor first and y axis motor connection is done and this is the limit switch and y axis limit switch connection is done too let's turn our controller and as you can see we have one interface connector here and one here don't worry you will not confuse them because each of them have different number of pins and this one which comes from our heated bed goes to the down after you connect it fasten it like this and the other one which comes from our extruder goes to the top and there's this guide so that it will help you to connect it correctly and fasten it 
and since we are here let us connect our power cable too and this is our power cable connection so since we are talking about power cable if you are in europe you need to use 220 volt if you are in the united states you have to use 110 volt of course check your country regulations and pick the correct one at this point what we need to do is to connect our pipe into our feeder mechanism this is the connection part and this is our pipe what we are going to do is to just insert it in as you may remember there was one lead screw fixing installation structure so to prevent it from being damaged company tells us that these screws are not fastened so what we need to do is to fasten them by using metric 2 allen wrench and there are only two of them the bottom ones are already fastened you just need to fasten two of them on the top as of now what we need to do is to connect the spool holder put our holder like this and fasten it Right now we will place the rod, put it in and fasten it back and then put your filament. At this step what you need to do is to arrange your cables with the zip ties and make sure that none of the cables are creating any obstacles or any tension in the moving directions and you will be fine. Take your given micro SD card and install it into your device. So take the edge of your filament and move it towards the guide. There's a hole right in here and push this one and move your filament from the hole. Keep inserting the filament until you can't insert anymore and stop there because you don't want to break it in there. Before we start our printer, let's look at our spare part. We have an extra knob for spool holder. We have a guide for our pipe. We have a spare nozzle and some screws and fasteners. And we have an extra pipe right in here. We have a needle if our nozzle get clogged. So I have put everything that comes as extra into our box and let us start our printing process. So there's a switch in the behind, flip that switch. Let's make our initial checks. First of all, I'm going to home everything to see are the motors and limit switches properly working or not. Click the knob and come down to prepare and click again. And in here you will see auto home. Hit auto home. As you can see, it homed itself and all the motors are moving towards correct direction. So right now, let us preheat for PLA. So click the knob again, come down to prepare, click prepare and in there, go to preheat PLA and click. When you click preheat PLA, you will see that our extruders keep heating. After you see that your extruder hit 185 Celsius degree, click the knob again and go to control and in there go to temperature and go to bed and increase your bed temperature to 60 and wait for your heated bed to go up to 60 Celsius degree. Okay, after our heated bed temperature hits to 60 Celsius degree as you can see, we have confirmed that our motors, limit switches, heated bed and the extruder are performing correctly. Right now what we are going to do is to make a final check with the extruder motor. So click the knob and go down to the prepare and in there go down to the move axis and click. And then go to the move 1mm and go down to the move Z. Increase your Z axis height a little bit. I'm going to increase it more to just show you guys. So I'm going to click the knob again, exit the menu and in here I will click the knob again and go down to the prepare, move axis, move by 1 millimeter. This time go down to the move extruder. So we are going to move the extruder motor this time. From the same screen I keep extruding. As you can see I am able to extrude the melted filament which means that my extruder motor is correctly working too. As a very final step what we need to do is to level our 3D printer. Click the knob, come to prepare and hit auto home. After we cool down the heated bed and the extruder, what we need to do is to level our printer before we start printing. What I'm going to do is to get piece of paper to level it. Okay, from our main menu, hit the knob and go down to prepare and click disable steppers. After we disable steppers, we can move our motors with our hands. So pull it to the corner. So when you move it to the corner, you will see that there's a big gap between our nozzle and the heated bed surface. What we are going to do is to loosen the screw on the, in the bottom to decrease that gap. 
decrease the, that gap until you are going to feel a little bit friction on the paper and this is done so we are going to repeat the same thing for all four corners move to the back side and do the same thing and move to the last corner too after we are done with the fourth corner what we need to do is to home our system so go back to our menu go to prepare and click auto home and then Come back to our menu again, go to prepare and disable steppers. So right now what we are going to do is to repeat the entire steps to ensure our leveling. After you check all four corners, if you are not satisfied with the results, repeat this leveling process again. If you are okay, everything is fine, so you are good to go. Right now what we are going to do is to start the print. Let us print a sample object within our SD card. So go to print from SD and it is Laosilumu Lao Laosilumu and it is Laosi Lao Laosilumu Okay, it is Laosilumu.gcode So click that one First our heated bed will heat up and reach to 50 celsius degree and then our extruder will start to heat up so after our heated bed as you can see reached the temperature of 50 celsius degree our extruder started to heat up to 205 celsius degree when our extruder reaches the desired value our print will start okay right now our print is starting let's see how it's gonna perform if you are seeing your lines like this, your prints are gonna be awesome. Okay guys, congratulations. This is the end of our video. Your assembly is done, your leveling is done, and hopefully your prints are gonna be awesome. Thank you for watching guys. If you like this video, please click the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos about Creality CR10. If you guys haven't purchased the Creality CR10 yet, there are discount coupons in the description below. And there's also a full family of Creality CR10 with the large, medium and the small size as well. Hope to see you in the next video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share my videos.